Today's vlog is sponsored by the National Pork Board. Good morning! We're going to California today. I got most of my packing done last night. All I have left is my makeup bag. Really looking forward to my cousin's wedding. It's gonna be a mini reunion. What are the rules? Nothing! Don't scream! Don't scream! There are Just some rules. have fun! No, have fun. no, 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 rules are nothing. Wrong way. <laughs> now these are the real deal right here, he girls. <laughs> Two hands. You be careful. I feel like my makeup bag itself is 10 pounds. Uh, 39, very good. We're going to Costco to buy some pork chops. This vlog is sponsored by National Pork Board. If you guys remember, we actually did a katsu recipe back in the day. Oh yeah. Ooh, that looks amazing. So we're doing it again, and today we're gonna start our journey at Costco. Nice. Costco! <laughs> this is what I'm looking for right here. Whole pork loin. You can cut this up into pork chops, chunks for like curry or stews. Save some money. See the whole family. It's kind of heavy. You got it? You got it? All right, thank you. Thank you for the help. High five. Thank you for the help. <laughs> samples. We love free samples at Costco. Thank you. you. Might just have to leave you there today. Bye. I'm getting comments of people saying that I will not laugh on this desk. Girl, you're making me want to use this even more. I think I already walked a mile and a half and I don't even notice it. I'm just getting work done. This has been a good investment so far. Rice. I'm gonna do a side salad, a cold cabbage salad with Japanese dressing, boiled carrots with a little butter. Like I said, I got the pork loin today. It's, it's super affordable. I mean, just for like one package of pork chops would have been the price of this whole thing. You just have to slice it up. The center part is the pork chops. In fact, let me show you this graph in the back. Center part is where the pork chops are, the roast. A rib roast. Pork has gotten a bad rap in recent history. As long as you use a uh, thermometer, get it up to 145 degrees. Even if there's a little bit of pink in there, that's totally okay. As long as it gets up to temp, that means it's safe to eat. And in fact, it's gonna be juicier, more delicious, more flavorful. Can I help you? Yeah. What do you need me to do? You can get the cabbage ready and maybe even peel the carrots because I thought we should boil those with a little butter and sugar. up pork loin that I'm gonna use for either a stew or like actually honey you could use this for curry sometime right I'm gonna be freezing these roasts as well as these pork chops for later honey 15 bucks I can't yeah I still can't believe how inexpensive that was isn't that crazy all that meat
be at least 145 degrees Fahrenheit to make sure that it's cooked all the way yet still be juicy. I'm gonna let it sit for at least three minutes and then we're gonna cut. Wow, look at that stance. It's everything. Oh. Mm. So juicy and tender. Thanks National Pork Board for sponsoring this vlog. Spicy. Oh, a little spicy. I did put a little bit of pepper and salt. Ooh. Sacramento. So Benji's getting the car. We're here at the airport, hangry. The only thing open is this little stand. It's not even really a deli. There's a few sandwiches over there. But we just got some fruit bowls, and I got this tortellini primavera salad. I want to eat food food. How was the flight? Did you sleep? Did you watch movies? What movie did you watch? I don't know what it's called. Do you know what it's about? No. No, okay. What did you do in the airplane? I watched. What did you watch? Um, I don't know. You don't know either? You're watching stuff you don't know? Oh, okay. But I eat this whole pineapple. You could eat it. It's not going to hurt I your tongue. I eat this whole one. Yeah. I have to? Yes. You have in your fork. You better eat it. Still traumatized from the time they ate hella pineapple. <laughs> Holy cow, you guys almost killed it. The spiky. Oh, is your tongue kind of raw? One spoonful of honey, okay? Yeah, I can see why that was traumatizing. I like your technique, Mia. Hey, you need to be careful when we're around people. These are all donations for the guests that are staying here that were evacuated from their homes because of the forest fires. That's so nice. Unfortunately, in this area, there's some major fires, specifically Paradise. So we're praying for you guys that uh, live there, that you got out. They said they had to evacuate the whole town. Some people lost their lives, unfortunately. <gasps> oh so. my gosh. But that's why we got to be grateful, girls, because you know what? You never know what's going to happen. It could all be gone in one day. Oh, five. This is why we should always practice safety rules. Watch out, Benji. Oh, my gosh. Wow, it smells so good. What's that? What are you looking for? Kitchen. The kitchen? I don't know why. It feels like it's 11 o'clock. It's only 8 p.m. Everyone went out to dinner, but I wanted to finish up the vlog, so this goes up on time. Sorry, the other day it was a little delayed, but anyways, I want to do a quick room tour because we do room tours everywhere we go, right? But this is pretty much the basic layout for a Hyatt place pull out sofa like this is really great for families very family friendly a mini kitchenette what do we have here oh nothing a working desk 
We have two beds, uh, an ice TV. Ooh, there's even a, an ice bucket with glasses. Are there supposed to be like two couples here? And then, oh, there's a dresser. It's kind of weird that it's next to the sink. Oh, because there's no dresser next to the bed, I see. And then there's a mini closet. They're utilizing their space very well here. And then we have a very generous sized bathroom. This thing is huge. I never understand these. There you go. What's this? Is that even a button? Does it turn off by itself? Is that why? Like, why is it like that? Anyway, I love places like this because it's so family and kid friendly. Downstairs, they do free breakfast, hot breakfast, and the kids love that. Anyways, we're gonna call it a night here. Um, you guys hear that? I keep hearing these voices. Well, obviously, it's a hotel, but I swear the walls are so thin here. I could hear our neighbors' conversations. It's gonna be a fun-filled weekend and I will see you tomorrow.